Well, parents, you got to hear this. There is a nationwide warning about driver safety, specifically for teens. We are at the start of what's known as the 100 deadliest days for teens. That's according to the to AAA that about a third of fatal crashes involve teen drivers between Memorial Day and Labor Day. News reporter Kelsey Jones spoke with a mother who knows all too well about the dangers for young people behind the wheel. A memorial still lies near this roadway in Yorktown four years later to remember Connor Guido. It's a daily struggle and I suspect it will be that way for the rest of my life. The pain of losing a child would never go away for Tammy McGee. Her son Connor was a star athlete at Tab High School in Yorktown and was passionate about soccer and track. But the night of October 26 of 2019 took a turn for the worst. Homecoming for us is, was anything but a pleasant evening in 2019. After the homecoming dance, her son got into a car with two friends as they headed to an after party, driving east on Yorktown Road. When they hit that curve, he lost control and hit, ran off the road, hit a tree, flipped the car, and he killed all three of them. It's just very unfortunate that he had to lose his life in such a needless and preventable way. The investigation by Virginia State Police revealed the 16 year old driver was on license and speeding and driving a high performance car. According to AAA, traffic crashes are a leading cause of death for teen ages 16 to 19. With the 100 deadliest days that start from Memorial Day to Labor Day is when we will lose the most amount of teenagers uh, here in the United States and certainly here in Hampton Roads. We know that anything could happen when you get behind the wheel. But now with school letting out, more teens will spend time on the road and often at odd hours of the day and night, according to AAA. McGee says that one bad decision four years ago is still impacting her family. If telling our tragedy will help save another life, that's what I'm going to do. AAA is urging parents to model safe driving behavior and be involved in their teens learning process. They also suggest this 25 hour online driving course to help reduce a teen's risk behind the wheel. In Yorktown, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.